Yeah, this game is kind of like Zelda meets Ori. One of Tara's memories. I should see where it leads me. Meets like a couple of different genres all at once. Like, it's by no means... Super creative. Because we've seen all of this before. We've seen clearing the forest and the corruption and all that. We've seen this sort of art style before. We've seen little bits and pieces like this. But it's a really cool package so far. It's not necessarily super unique. But it plays really well so far. Yeah, the way it's done is very nice. Uh, these little things that are following me are called the Rot. I am... Trying to collect as many of them as possible. Once I've got 15, apparently I will unlock something. At least it gives me a little progress bar whenever I find another one. So currently I have like 11 or 12. What? So once again, my screen randomly flashed black for a second, and my Chrome crashed. All right, Google Chrome, you're out. Are you guys still here on the screen? I don't know if this uses Chrome as well. Uh, I have no clue, guys. And Google Chrome. No, I don't see any Twitch chat over here either, which probably uses Chrome. All right, Chrome, you're on your last attempt because I'm too lazy to log in on, on Edge. All right, I can see Twitch chat again. Everyone stop panicking. We're back. The ultimate reversal. Use Chrome to reinstall Edge. <laughs> Oof, I didn't think it could be done. No, I didn't update to Windows 11. I didn't do anything, guys. I just installed this game. Should have done the PlayStation edition of this game instead, I guess, huh? Graphically, it's probably identical. Okay, this is one of the memories over here over uh, from that, what is it called? The, the Zuzu guy. No, that's not his name. Look, a tear of the forest. Tato. No. Taro, that's it. All right. We've got a new memory. And with that, we've also got ourselves another one of those seeds. Now, I would update to Windows 11 if I uh, knew it was 100% stable, but... I kind of need to uh, have a good computer that runs. New subscriber detected. Sub with Prime Lopak. Can I use one more? Nice. Hey, thank you, Corius. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Whew. Dude, these shrines give a lot. Not bad. Uh, the blue thingies I loot are things I can use to upgrade. So currently I've got 780. I'm sitting on it with my camera. But basically I've got 780. And it costs a bunch of resources to upgrade and up, like make new changes. I think there's still two things I will unlock. I saw bits of the trailer. So I know one of the things I think is going to be a bow. But other than that, I uh, don't know what the last one is. Oh, snap. We're going to go down. Okay, I guess we're going down. Can I go sliding all the way down? Yeah. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Go. Go, go. Woo! Okay. That was fun. Local, I upgraded to 11. Got an RTX 3090. The NVIDIA driver spassed out. Would not let me reverse and go back. 
You have to reformat and reinstall Windows? Nice, dude. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, reinstalling Windows is pretty quick, but... It depends on how many critical files you keep on your computer. I keep as few as possible. Because <laughs> I know I might have to reinstall Windows at some point. Maybe it's just a remnant of, like older versions of Windows where I feel like every moment I need to be prepared to be able to reinstall my computer. I've run into many problems over the years with Windows and usually the quickest fix I've found is just do a fresh installation. It takes like 20 minutes. <laughs> Takes you two days? Ooh, yeah, no. I, uh. Okay, you have a NAS? Right, right, right. If you have a NAS and so you keep everything on there, you can just very quickly uh, redo things. What's wrong with Russo's house? All the trees look funny. Let's keep going. Mmm. I feel like Russo is not doing so hot, guys. Sadly, I don't have a copy of Windows on hand, so I can't upgrade to 11. Oh, you can just download it. You can download it straight off of the Windows website. Basically, what you do is you uh, create a thumb drive with Windows 10 on it, and then you say to yourself, this is the only thumb drive I will ever use for installing Windows. And then next time around, you want to reinstall Windows, you have lost that thumb drive, and then you have to get a new one. Anyways, um... For science? <laughs> Don't know what I expected. Who would have thought, huh? Now Kana has a spirit herself. <laughs> I actually kind of like how it hasn't explained to me what exactly it is that I do. Because I am making the assumption that I am like, you know, in between life and the afterlife or something. But maybe that's not even the case. Maybe I'm entirely wrong. Oh my god, where are we going, guys? Uh... Not that way. So I gotta go across, but how do I get across? I can't reach that far, can I? Can I go to that rock? Anything over here? No? They're just cheering me on. Loco, I'm an IT tech with my own Windows USB stick. I made it myself. <laughs> I mean, it's not super hard, but yeah, it's nice to have. I think I probably have like three somewhere. <laughs> I just like, I know where one is. Do you know where it is for sure? No, not for sure. I think I know where one is. <laughs> Hashtag switch to Linux. No, not this again. Chad, I'm not switching to Linux. I know there's at least three of you that are like, Loco, you know you want to. Just do a dual boot, Loco. Do it all. Like, no, I don't want to, man. I'm sorry, Linux guys. A friend of mine in high school was super keen on, on Linux. He would always talk about the different distributions and stuff. Oh. Okay. We have a little bit of Assassin's Creed action, guys. We gotta go, uh... Climb up the mountain. My, we have to go all the way up there. It's a very long road. It's not really gotten that, cl that much closer either, but... 
It's very too gross. What? Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some overlap between uh, vegans and Linux users. Both are human? Yes. No, actually, I feel like it's not that bad anymore. All jokes aside, I know tons of people that eat vegan. But uh, people have become a lot more chill about it, it seems. Like, uh, most people, anyway. Look what did you see. Aloy just did that trail behind you just faster. Oh, no. I didn't see Aloy. Aloy! Oh, sorry. Hmm. The bridge is broken. Maybe the rock can help. All right. All right. Hurry! I don't think they can hold it for long. I've seen this recently in uh, Squid Game. Uh, the rock is strong, dude. Search for Rusu at his lookout on top of the cliff. Dude, the cliffs were really far away. I don't think I'm close. That corruption is powerful. There must be a relic nearby. I need to find another way around. Hello. Nice. Really nailed that. I wonder if I can upgrade my staff. If I can, like, put a sharp edge on it, you know? That would, I feel like that would help. Ooh. I don't think this is the best time for that. <laughs> Do I have to clean up all of these little things? Yeah, I think so. So now, now they won't spawn anymore from that area. Right, okay. So I gotta do that on every single one of these. Okay, so killing that guy, give me one of those. Use that again. Very nice. Now there's still one big one over there. I don't know if I just have to clear out these enemies and then I can go after the big one. I think that might be what's going on here. Yeah, I think I need to uh, charge it up. Ow. Okay. There you go. Use the rot. Explode. Turn some beautiful greenness to this world. Not bad. Look, I just finished this. I loved it. Yeah, it's very good so far, Busin. I'm actually very impressed. Over there. Uh, if you guys, can I have you guys bring it over here? Is that where I need it? Oh. Uh. Or is it up there? I think it might be up there. Yeah, I think it might be up there. Does this do anything for me? I have to activate the third crystal, which I think is that one on the right. Let me try and see if I can move it over here instead. Man, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> it's especially bad when you go from like PlayStation or Xbox 
to a Nintendo Switch where like the controls are completely backwards and the keys on the controller are completely different. Does that do it? Hey, does that do it? Yeah. Very good. So I can have a movable one. Uh, is this where I really want to go, though? Hold up. Let me backpedal for a second, guys. Let me be a true video game player. Because I feel like there probably is something I've missed over here. Yeah, I don't actually want to warp anywhere. I just want to make sure that I have the warp available. I don't think I can stop this corruption over here, but... Yeah. Probably gotta do something in that cave. Is there anything exciting we see? Don't think so. You like using your PlayStation 4 controller with PC games? I've had troubles getting it to work properly. Most of the time, uh, an Xbox controller works like a charm, though. What's the cause for all this corruption? I'm not exactly sure, but there's this old guy that seems to be, uh... That seems to be causing at least some of it. That was bad. Almost bad. That music again. The very tribal music. It's sick. Love it. Small way to turn on the lights. Big battle. Looks like a boss room. Prediction? I'm gonna get it on my first try, Bunny Warren. He's called Kappa? No way. They knew. They knew. The developers 100% knew. <laughs> they just love the alphabet right now. I How do I hit you? This guy's going immediately. I wonder if Kappa means something else. No, no, no. There's only one use for that word. Uh, I think I have to get a charge and then do something with that charge. Oh, wow. All right, I've got a charge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can send the rock in his direction and probably stun him. Then we can hit him. Get up! Smack him while he's scared! Okay, never mind. Look at those bombs. The bombs grow into people. One more! Okay, that's enough. Didn't even get a hit this time. Ow! New subscriber. Hey, thank you, double negative. What? Mate! That's not cool, that's not cool, that's not cool. Okay. 
Guys, he's up there now. Can I go up anywhere? I'm one hit away from dying. This is not great. Oh, okay. Do I want to go after the big guy? Probably not. We destroyed the Kappa. We did it. New subscriber detected. Thank you, Sean. Low Kappa. Let's go down, Velernin. How are you, man? Let's go down, Dita Hunter. Oh, that's how we're gonna go up the mountain. All right, very convenient. I destroyed the Kappa, but what, yeah, at what cost? It's a very good point. Hey, Anna, you made it. I think we found Mr. Russo. Wait, I didn't open the barrel? I didn't see a barrel, guys. Luckily, the elevator can be used multiple times. Sometimes in a gaming elevator, it can only be used once. <laughs> Sorry, kids. I don't even know how you guys get up there, to be honest, so. That was a barrel? Uh, ah, this one? No, it was just flowers. A little, a little shiny. Did you guys see a barrel? Oh, maybe up there. Yeah. That was one right next to the elevator? Was there, really? Well, I also need to go up here, clearly. Eat up, my minions! Is this a Souls-like? No, not quite. Am I gonna alt tap out to read this tweet, Mogetsu? Okay, fine. I'll alt tap out to read this tweet. Is this something I wanna... Uh, nope. Uh, this is not something I need to alt-tap out for. Yeah, very worth it. Very worth it. Thank you, Gabe. <laughs> Apparently, the Twitter CEO is stepping down, guys. I didn't like that guy anyway. He didn't want to verify my account. I was like, yo, Jack. Oh, sorry. Barrel. I was like, yo, Jack. Verification plus and it was like no and I was like hit the road Jack. Don't you come back no more no more no and then he left I will now be known as the new Twitter CEO. Yes <laughs> What is your new my first action as CEO verifying my own account obviously that's the only reason <laughs> I'll be unbanning Donald Trump, and I'll be verifying my own account, just for my own amusement. That'll be great. I'm look, looking forward to it. That'll be great. Can you pick that up? I did it! So I get, I get rewards for that as well. I think that's worth it. Yeah, right? What about we unverify every account except mine, Chad? That would be something. Make Twitter great again. <laughs> Did 
The platform will now also be renamed to Loco and Friends. It's gonna be like... <laughs> it's only my account and whoever I want verify. Twitter? More like shitter. Oh! Actually, no, I like, I like Twitter. Locospeaks.com <laughs> Hey, Mr. Rusu! We've been looking for you! Rusu! My man! We brought our friend Kena. She's here to help Toro. Oh, God. Oh. He looks so sad. The power of the mountain shrine is connected to everything in this forest. God, you've got a great voice, dude. The trees here grew strong, drawing on its energy. And the land was once in perfect balance. But like all things, the mountain shrine follows a natural cycle. One that our village struggled to understand. As the shrine's power began to fade, devastating famine struck our village. Taro lost his parents, and he was left to take care of Benny and Saya. I should have done more to help Taro. And now I can only watch as his spirit struggles. We can still help Taro, Rusu. There's a relic covered by the corruption at your house, but I need a way to break through. That weapon you carry, I sense it holds a deeper power. This is Gandalf's staff. The staff belonged to my father. Gandalf. <laughs> it's been in our family for generations. Oh, all right. He must have been a great spirit guide. I may be powerless against the corruption, but I can teach you a new way to fight it back. To a trained archer, the bow is simply an extension of the body. A spirit guide staff is no different. Ground yourself. Feel the energy of the mountain. Draw on its power. God, the music in this game is top tier. Look at the kids jumping around. <laughs> Try using your bow on these targets. When you are finished, these targets? To practice at the other stations I've set. Those little targets? Oh, okay. Sorry. Hold the left trigger to aim, and while a holding LT, press and release RT to fire an arrow. All right, I thought he meant the little targets. I was like, oh, no. Okay, guys, this is where the game becomes very hard. Loco with a bow. Aiming with a controller, it's very dangerous. Yeah, it definitely also has some influences of Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. B Boko. <laughs> I'm not Boko, Chet, no. <laughs> Back again. I'll toss up enough. No, 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 you don't have to, bro. You really... Okay, fine. I did it! Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I think the number four in the bottom right indicates how many times I can shoot. So it automatically recharges. Yep. Can you pick that up? Loco has aimbot now? <laughs> sure, chat. Thank you. My ego is already at an all-time high. I'm glad you guys made it better. Yeah. 
<laughs> I was here. I was here. <laughs> the I was here meme is very, pretty mean, dude. I love it. It's really good. <laughs> Shroud who? <laughs> I was here. <laughs> Loco hits three targets that are completely stationary. I was here, pork champ. A true gamer. Ooh. You can teleport? Not what I expected. I feel like I just didn't bother making a walking animation for you. It's okay, we still love you. Can I, uh... Ooh, that's what we do. Gotcha. All right. So now we uh, we know what to do there from earlier, huh? What do we do with this, though? I can't interact with it. Have to be at a little more, a little bit more of a distance, I guess. Is there anything here? I don't see a whole lot of corruption. Oh, there's a little bit of corruption over here. Nice, got 950 of it now. Actually, no, over a thousand. You'll need to move quickly for this one. Follow the path. And hit all six targets before time runs out. Oh, God. Ready, go. I've got this. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, I'm not good with aiming with a controller, but... World record pace. We did it. World record pace. I was here. I was here. I was already considering moving on over to a uh, mouse and keyboard for that little run over there. But uh, does Loco ever miss with a bow? See, now we're getting it, guys. These are the type of messages I... Yeah. 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 The hardest boss so far. It is aiming with these two nipple looking things. Genuinely though, after all these years of using a controller, I still cannot aim with them. How people play shooters on the console is just... I don't get it. Manifestations of corruption patrol the path ahead. Your bow should help clear the way. Oh, she cleared him. My bow should clear what? These things? Oh. Ow. Can I hold it indefinitely? Switch his targets, right? I think he'll be here next, yeah. Yeah. 100% accuracy rating ruined. True. Can you guys do anything? Can I shoot it? Oh! There he is. 
Jackpot. Strangest looking key I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Can you pick that up? <sighs> when in doubt, shoot it. Yes, this is good advice. That's what I've learned so far in this game as well. When you don't know what to do, just shoot at it with your bow and arrow. I do, uh, yeah, I do offer training. If you go to my Patreon uh, page, I can teach you how to aim with a controller as well, Valharnin. Alrighty. So there we go. We made it to Rusu's backyard. We can teleport from here. I actually think this is a pretty good moment to end things on the first day of this game. So far, I gotta say, I am very impressed. The game plays well, looks beautiful, music especially is top tier. And while it doesn't necessarily bring anything super crazy or new to like the action RPG genre, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, very nice. Alrighty. Welcome back to Kena, Bridge of Spirits. This game has actually been uh, surprisingly awesome so far. The music is awesome, the graphics are great. I've been enjoying pretty much everything about this game. It kind of looks like Pixar made a video game. And uh, it's of exceptionally high quality. I haven't heard really that many people talk about it. But so far I am very much so enjoying myself. Uh, so this is a... It's like an action role-playing type of game, right? So it's a story-driven game where we are trying to figure out what is going on in this world. So I don't really know exactly what is happening. But it seems that we are someone who is guiding spirits. And maybe this is just my interpretation, but it seems like we are like in the place that is supposed to be in between like life and the afterlife. And there's like spirits that get stuck over in this area over here. And we are someone that's guiding those spirits towards the right place. Um, now, in this world, it turns out there's also uh, some bad people. Who are creating uh, a slightly less positive looking version of the forest area that we are in right now. So every once in a while we will come across this sort of corruption. And we have to cleanse it. Yeah, we're like an exorcist, basically. Anyhow. Um, I just unlocked a couple of different things. Taro's uh, fear cleared the corruption at Rusu's house. Right, right, that's what we were doing. Uh, I just unlocked this bow. Now I am using a controller, so might not work out so hot, but we'll see. This broken path leads to my house. The corruption there is powerful. Be careful, Kena. All right, I think we have some combat going on soon enough. Oh snap! Am I going the right way, guys? Well, it's not like I can get off of or off of this train right now. Good one, the tank. Never heard of that one before. He said local Alt F4 for our minimap. Never heard that one before, bro. Oh. I'm not very good at aiming with a controller, but so far we're okay. I think the game is trying to teach me how to do it. Look at turn up for what in the settings? I thought we had to turn it down. Turn down for what? <laughs> yeah, so this is the area right after we unlock the bow. So I think that's probably what it's... Is that a boss? The Wood Knight. I actually don't have that much health. Woo! Just barely healed myself up in time. This guy is throwing his thing. Can I? I think I'm supposed to use my shield here. 
Yeah. I did a parry, guys. Ow. Ow. I was hoping the rock would actually distract him. Ooh. Ow. I was trying to see if I could maybe get out of there. Ooh. Uh, wasn't there a heal? Oh, I thought there was another heal. Yeah, there is another heal. Okay, good. Ugh. Face tank? Oh, maybe face tanking bad. <laughs> All right, I was out of heals. And I had no health, but... <sighs> Easy, chat. Not even concerned. Straightforward, high-level gameplay. What do I, uh, what else do I activate? I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, I can shoot it. Ah, right, 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 right. I got a new ability now. There you go. So that should get rid of that corruption in this area. And turn this area nice and beautiful again. What's going on, Medivh? Medivh is coming to show me his house. Maybe he'll invite me for tea. That'd be nice. Music. I love the instruments they've chosen. It's really nice. I made that knife for Taro when he was a boy. He loved these woods, and I tried my best to teach him the old ways, consumed by the troubles of our village. I was not there for Taro when he needed me most. I hope we can bring him peace. More relics are hidden in the corruption of the Forgotten Forest. I'll wait for you there. Alrighty. I've got one of the relics. How many were there? Usually it's three, right? Alright. are hidden in the corruption of the Forgotten Forest. I'll okay. wait for you there. So I gotta find one more of these little guys. They're following me around. They give me special abilities. One more until the little bar fills up. I think it's a new ability or, I don't know, maybe a new boost. Not exactly sure. So I think I can now freely roam the area maybe and then try and find more things. <sighs> Let's see. I'm already becoming very lazy. Oh, there's one. I can't even open drawers anymore. I need to rot for that. Come on, hey, there it is. The rot can now perform more actions. Okay. A little anticlimactic, but here. I got you guys some food. I stole this from the other guy. Hope you don't mind. It's okay. I just saved his, his shed or his house. Okay. More resources for upgrading. I love how they're just sitting around and stuff. Whenever you go anywhere, they are always interacting with the environment. It's kind of cool, right? Loco expecting Dragon Ball Z power-ups? Yeah! I wanted to go Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan Kena, dude. That sounds amazing. Over there. 
This is the area we were in a while ago. Kame ha ke na. Go get it. See, kind of works. Should we grow a tail and everything? That'd be great. So, interacting with the environment and collecting things allows me to upgrade stuff. Have we been over here? Uh. What? Hello. Just one of them running around? How many do I need now? Yeah, you can give them different hats. Every single one of the rot. Okay, I need 35 of them. That's a lot. I feel like I'm not gonna find that many. Hey, I got a new, uh, new hat. So you can go to town and, like, give all of them individual hats. It's a very useful downtime. It's basically you get to decorate. Uh... How do I... Ah. Oh, I can't stand in the circle myself, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, I gotta create a little bit of distance. Oh, wow! I didn't realize that... Okay, they actually get a face. So what is over here? Uh... I can destroy the thing on the other side as well, but... Am I gonna 100% this game? I mean, I'm really liking it so far. I never really care so much about 100% in games. I've never really bothered with that too much. But I'm definitely not afraid or, or against going off the beaten path in this game and just trying to explore lots of different areas. All right. Got now 1,300 of those. So I think this is an area I probably could have gotten to as well by sliding down somewhere. Uh, what are you guys doing over there? Oh. Over there. What are you guys gonna do? No, no, no. I think... No, no, no. I think you're supposed to go in there. Oh, is it like a puzzle? Not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go with that thing, but I guess... Up? I don't even know where it started. I don't know what the starting position was. There's like a cable car over here. Did Loco 100% StarCraft? I did 100% all the StarCraft campaign achievements, yeah. But I got pretty frustrated there along the way as well, though, because of the... Um, the Lost Viking achievement. That thing was super annoying. Can I reach that? Oh, I can't. Nice. Yeah, I'm a little bit early today, Nullset. Welcome to the stream. So what's this then? God, it's not open world, but it does feel very open worldy. It feels like I can go loads of different places. Uh, there's the Lost Viking achievement in StarCraft 2. There's, if you remember, like if you remember from the Wings of Liberty campaign, when you go through the cafeteria, there's this arcade machine in the corner. And the arcade machine has a little game called The Lost Viking. Um, and obviously it's a, uh, a wink to The Lost Vikings game from like way back. And it's that like... What do you call that on the Nokia 3310? I'm not exactly sure. Space Invaders? I think so. It's that... Um, curious game. Let's leave it at that. And those achievements took me a while. This is not even a strategy game. Oh wow! Wait, what? No! Uh, where was that? I'm not even sure. 
Hey, thank you very much, Tanza Lintz. Three years. A new game mechanic. Thank you very much, Tanza. It's a long time support. I wish I could double jump in real life, guys. Double jumping feels really nice. So I don't really know how to use this mechanic over here, guys. I'm gonna try like once more. If I don't make it, um, it's fine. Because the game hasn't taught me yet how to do this. <laughs> so I think I have to just go full like Tarzan to the other side. Yeah, I don't think I can do much. What? Oh. What's going on, Matt? Welcome to the stream. Logo, thanks for being early today. It suits me perfectly. You're turning your day around? Nice. Yeah, there was a ledge as well on the left. I just want to go check that out real quick. I feel like there was another area I could go to. Oh, snap. Now the elevator. Or whatever you want to call this. Cable car. Where would that go, though? I don't even think I have to go over there, to be honest. But there's probably something hidden. 